February 27th, Divine Provision. Genesis chapter 22 verses 7 to 8 says, But Isaac spoke to Abraham his father and said, My father, and he said, Here I am, my son. Then he said, Look, the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? And Abraham said, My son, God will provide for himself the lamb for a burnt offering. And the two of them went together. A young girl was taking a long journey, and in the course of her travels, her train had to cross a number of rivers. Each time the train approached water, her doubts were awakened. She didn't understand how such raging torrents could safely be crossed. As they drew near the river, however, a bridge invariably appeared and provided the way over. Finally, the little girl leaned back with a sigh of relief and said with confidence, Somebody has put bridges for us all the way. Abraham showed the same confidence as he faced the possibility of sacrificing his only son. Never had his faith been more severely tested. Yet, he could confidently reply to Isaac, God will supply the lamb. Abraham didn't know how God was going to do it, but he believed without reservation that God would. That same confidence can be yours and mine. We often don't know how God will provide. He may supply in a way that we would not have chosen. That is not for us to say. Our assurance is that God will meet our needs, however he chooses. The Apostle Paul reminds us, And my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 God may meet your need for healing by miraculously restoring your body or he may choose to give you the strength to endure an illness with courage. God may relieve your financial situation through a generous gift. Then again, he may provide just enough to get you through each month. How he meets your need is evidence of his sovereignty. That he meets your need is evidence of his grace. It's not necessary that we know how as long as we know him. Our need is simply an opportunity for God's provision. Amen.